Hey, I am here with my good friend Stacy Nado. Now, if you recognize her, it's because she is one of the Dove Campaign for Real Beauty original models, and she is going to tell us about bouncing back from the toughest day in her professional career so far. Mm -hmm. So, probably the toughest day in my professional career so far was um, when I was part of this Dove campaign and I put myself out there on billboards all across the country in my underwear, unairbrushed, unretouched, because I believe that all women should feel good about themselves. And I believe we should start to widen the definition and the stereotype of what we see in the media and what women are represented as in the media. And um, we knew and were kind of warned that maybe some pushback would happen, but we certainly weren't prepared for a big pushback that happened where a reporter wrote that the next time he wanted to see thighs as big as mine were in my KFC chicken bucket for dinner. So I'd be completely lying. Was he aware that you're a real person, like not a model? Yes. Like, and just a real, I think so, I think so. So I'd be lying if I told you that didn't hurt or affect me in some way. And in growing up, coming to terms with the way my body looked, my problem area that I always beat myself up for was my thighs. So now I felt like as an adult, I was kind of being transported back to the seventh grader who hated her thighs. Right. And so I had to really lean on my team. And I talk, when I, when I work with young girls especially, I talk about this and I call it our esteem team. And your esteem team is those people you know that you have on speed dial that have your back at all times. Yes. And the key to your esteem team is this. It's very easy to call and vent. Everybody knows how to give the appropriate venting response. Right, right. You need And y'all know, I don't think venting is very healthy. Yeah. <laughs> but you know the people on your esteem team who you can call with the positive good news, who won't get jealous, who won't uh -huh. get competitive, who won't get kind of weird, who will build you up and celebrate all of those wins with you. Those are the people you need on your team. The people who can hear the good stuff too exactly. are actually the people that you want to call for the bad stuff. 100%. Those okay. are the people you know they have your back both ways, right? Right. When all of it is happening, no matter what is happening. Okay. So that's how I got through it. I, I leaned on my team and I got um, really vulnerable with them. And I told them how it didn't feel good and that I was going to keep walking through it anyway because I believed in the mission. And that, I think, is how we always become better on the other side is because we lean on that team, we right. become more vulnerable, we connect, and that to me is the key to like gaining that confidence, gaining that resiliency afterwards. And I always say we're like resilience is the ability to be future focused, right? Yep. And so that was what your people did for you. And they, they didn't just tell you like, you're beautiful and we love you. Yes, you know? so no, right. They said, remember why you're doing this. Yes. They helped you keep that future Came back orientation. back to my why. Absolutely. That's my excellent. big picture. You know, we all have had those conversations where we don't feel good about our bodies specifically, for example. And you have the friend in your life or the person in your life who's like, oh, come on, you're so pretty, you're so cute. Well, if those worked, we'd all be walking around the most confident people in the world. Yeah. They don't work. What works is raw, real, vulnerable conversations. That works. Okay. And small shifts in conversations are what really happen and build on normalizing what conversation could look like when we shift all of these thoughts. I love it. In yeah. those worst moments when somebody says that thing that's like your deepest, darkest fear about yourself or the thing you don't like about yourself, and then somebody else calls it forward, like, oh, shoot, everybody else sees this too. Yep. Those terrible moments. Yep. That's when you lean on them. Lean on the team. Excellent. Well, you are beautiful <laughs> inside and out. Same and with I adore you. you. Love you. Thanks, everybody.